Hello everyone. So today what we're going to do is go through how to design pens for additive manufacturing and 3D printing, mass production 3D printing. This is kind of the traditional way of designing pen and holes for finding features. It might be the lid or something else of some device. If you do have a design that for some reason requires these pens, generally what we would try to do is print them vertically just like this but that would require that there be support underneath these pins which is not the greatest option it can kind of deform them and then you'll have to kind of redesign these holes to be a bit larger you just lose a lot of precision if you have to print this vertically so you always want to be able to print stuff horizontally laying flat on the bed just like this if at all possible so what we're going to go through is actually optimize this and show you a few different solutions that can improve this quite a bit. One of the simplest solutions is to actually just go with a, a chamfer here. If these are simple finding features that don't need to have a, a press fit or a friction fit of any sort, just go through and turn them into something like this. This allows them to be printed in any orientation. And even though it looks like they're increasing the volume of the part, they don't actually increase print time or print material because you're not filling that up fully solid. So this makes it easier to find if you're doing just a standard finding feature and you can adjust the size of these cones as much as you want. And now these pins are no longer really brittle because when we didn't have uh, those chamfers on them, if these were printed, they would break along these layer lines very easily. So you'd have kind of a limited uh, lifetime on them. But if you then add these chamfers, it becomes really easy to produce them. And of course you'd want to clean it up and optimize these to the angle you want, making sure that they're within 30 degrees. So that's solution number one. Another thing to point out, these pins are redundant. If you have four pins on a top of a surface that only has to be restrained in two directions, you do not need four pins. So here, I'm just gonna crop these out very quickly just to show what it looks like. Generally, you would wanna do this very early in the design to make sure that you don't have something silly left around there if you don't need them. Literally, all you need is those two pins and this lid would still be fully constrained and would not rotate or move and would still square up just the way you need it. So do not add extra features if you don't need them because they just increase the complexity of manufacturing. So that's just kind of a side point of things to be aware of. But neither one of those are the good options. Pins are not really the best option for printing because they're just not very efficient. So what is the way to get this done? Well, we're gonna start right here. Imagining that this is an enclosure and it's a lid and we don't actually have a block that just is being screwed together. I'm gonna to go ahead and create this. I'm gonna make that 40. That way we have a nice clean five millimeters on either side of it. And move this in from here to there by 10. And then we should be able to just mirror that right over. Minus five, take that in there just like that. By a happy little accident, I had that designed right into the main plane. And then over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create fins. Those are the slots, these are the fins. So with fins, what's great about them is that they're very reliable, very robust, and can be placed all over the place, but also be designed to be really optimized for printing. Let's go just like this. And then unfortunately, this one We'll do the same thing, but I'm gonna to have to create a new plane. I want that to be seven. There we are. Now, here's the thing. If we want these fins to be really strong and not broken off, and we don't want to do like the traditional uh, chamfer or fillet where we put a great big old fillet over here on the side in order to strengthen it up, which we don't want to do, we're gonna actually print these boxes vertically which might not always be possible. If it's not possible, you'll have to reinforce this with chamfers or something else along those lines. But you still have more inner surface area so that if it's printed like this, it's still stronger than an individual pin because it's supported laterally and you could actually do something where you do like a cross beam in order to find locations rather than circles, which aren't that great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mid plane just like this. And then let's mirror that over mirror this feature just like so and then mirror plane right there okay cool so now these fins will go into these slots and that's fine but we want to be able to print these vertically and you don't want a vertical overhang right there so we will be using chamfers just like this in order to turn these into a bit of a finding feature while also improving their manufacturability and we're going to take that all the way down to the seven just like so now 
it will fully center and line up over there just the way we want it, but you can now print this vertically and that fin won't have any sort of problems, but it will slot right into the slots very quickly and easily. And you will have something that can be like the top of an electrical enclosure. You can make this larger and put the fins around the outer rim of it. And what's great is we only have these two fins. You do not need to have horizontal ones there because it's supported in two dimensions. You could actually get away with just one single fin if you want to. And again, eliminating features is always a good idea if you don't need them. So that's kind of the, the layout for creating an alternative to traditional pins and holes, which can be very brittle when printed and instead find something that's a lot easier to place because no longer are people having to find holes, they're just having to find a big old slot. So assembly gets much easier as well. So hopefully that helps you and is showing you a neat trick of how to design for mass production 3D printing.